This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 12th of November. I'm James Spann. Get ready for an icy north wind later today. Temperatures as cold as they've been all season long. So let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with the big picture. The water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. The contours there are at 500 millibars, and it's a high amplitude pattern setting up. Big ridge in the west, downstream trough in the east. And uh, that's going to push down some very cold air, not too far from record levels in coming days. Now, this morning, again, that's a great example of why this is not a one-number place when it comes to forecasting a low. Uh, look up in the Tennessee Valley. you got Fort Payne at 36. Over in Muscle Shoals, it's 18 degrees warmer. They've got 54. And down around here, mostly upper 30s and low 40s at daybreak. But uh, the cold front's not here yet. Uh, we'll feel that later today. In fact, you can see the front is uh, approaching Memphis. And behind it, we've got single-digit lows up north. And uh, that old Arctic air is going to settle in here tonight, making for a very cold morning, tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. Both mornings we'll expect mid-20s around here, and some of the colder pockets will probably see low 20s. And again, we got freeze warnings all across the deep south. And uh, I think we'll see a freeze down to Interstate 10, as you can see there, uh, Baton Rouge, Mobile, uh, Crestview, Florida, and even on the immediate Gulf Coast, they might catch a freeze at places like uh, Destin and Gulf Shores and uh, Pensacola Beach. They'll be very close uh, probably by Thursday morning down there. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning. This shows a little bit here. and uh, Today there could be a sprinkle this morning, but that won't amount to much. Over the weekend, there could be a shower Saturday or Sunday, but the latest data suggesting it could be Monday before the really organized rain arrives. And we'll show you that in modeling here in just a minute. And snow fans, if you're looking for snow, this is where you'll find it. This is uh, today and tonight. The mountains of West Virginia, Erie, Pennsylvania. They'll see some good snow there. A little bit of lake effect snow around Gary, Indiana. Um Man, it just seemed like yesterday. We were right in the middle of summer. All right, model fans, let's take a look at the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid at 12 noon today at 500 millibars, strong energy diving south. And look at that high. It's at 1,046 millibar high. That is, you talk about some subsidence, sinking air. The center of the high is near Omaha, Nebraska. And you can see how the pressure gradient really gets tight down here. So the winds are going to pick up later today. We'll have north winds uh, 12 to 25, maybe gusting to 30 in spots. And what about the rain on that front? Well, let's look. This is the way the radar looks now. This is a point where you don't look at models, you just look at radar. And uh, you can see a few sprinkles in advance of the front over Tennessee. That was the radar grab at 5.07. A uh, little light rain in the southern suburbs of Nashville. Uh, down to uh, almost uh, Limestone County, Alabama. So, again, some folks up in the Tennessee Valley might see a few sprinkles this morning. Uh, but down this way, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, I'd say the uh, odds of any rain are very, very small. All right, tomorrow the surface high gets close. And we'll start the day down in the mid-20s. There's a look at the anomalies. The uh, GFS is printing 26. The NAM is at 27. And understand Thursday morning is going to be just as cold. And during the day tomorrow, the sun's going to be out. Even with sun all day, uh, I don't think we get out of the 40s. Uh, this is Thursday. Again, we start the day in the mid-20s. That's very close to record temperature levels. Uh, low 20s are where the records are this time of the year. But we start to warm up during the day. The high should be in the middle 50s on Thursdays. We start to dig out of the deep freeze. And then Friday, we'll go back in the low 60s. It's a nice thing about these early season cold snaps. They don't last too long. We don't moisture gathering down to the south, but Friday should be a dry day with a partly sunny sky. All right, you weekend fans, a lot of things are happening Saturday, and people want to know, is it going to rain? Well, it will rain Saturday in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Cape Girardeau, Missouri, uh, maybe Shreveport, but the GFS really not showing much. And, I, you know, that's kind of our forecast. We've got like a slight chance of a shower going, and I think we'll leave that. Um, in that we've got moisture coming back, but there's no really good dynamic forcing for rain. So I don't think rain will be a big problem. The chance of rain's not zero, but uh, any showers would be widely scattered and they won't amount to much. This is the high-res European valid at noon Saturday, showing maybe a little band of uh, what could be a shower or two over northwest Alabama. Got a big football game in Auburn Saturday afternoon, Auburn, Georgia. Um, 
I know for now, I just don't think rain's going to be a big problem there. And the good news, really, Sunday looks drier. Again, we'll stick with a high-res uh, European. This is Sunday at noon. And while certainly there could be a shower here, the better dynamic forcing is now northwest of the state. And all of a sudden, Monday, we go wet. Uh, the Europeans showing the better chance of rain Monday of next week. And it's got uh, about an inch of rain over parts of north Alabama, really belonging north of Interstate 20. Uh, let's go to the GFS solution. This is Sunday. And much like the European, could there be a shower? Absolutely. Showers are possible Sunday, but I don't think the rain would amount to much. Uh, and boy, look at the snow out there in the uh, uh, mountains, the Wyoming, Colorado, and Utah. It's a big snowstorm out there. And let's go to Monday of next week, and there's the deal. A pretty decent trough is coming in from the northwest. And down below that, a pretty strong cold front coming in with a band of showers and thunderstorms on Monday. And the, uh, the GFS looks very similar to the Europeans, so... Uh, the deal is for the weekend, yes, there could be a few scattered showers Saturday and Sunday, but nothing widespread or heavy. The better organized rain holds off until Monday. Maybe some thunder, severe weather not expected with that look, and this is Tuesday, and the weather starts to turn uh, colder with a good cold air advection. Highs probably drop in the 50s if this is right. All right, Thanksgiving fans, uh, let's go out to the end of the forecast. This is the 27th of November. This is the day before Thanksgiving, what many say the busiest travel day of the year. And please don't take this to the bank. If you're new to this, we show you, you know, th th there's no skill in a really specific forecast beyond seven days. We're just looking for trends out here. And uh, this has the uh, core of the jet north of us, so the colder air stays north. Uh, uh, a confront to the west, that would suggest some rain from... Uh, Houston up to Cleveland. And uh, again, th there's been some consistency in this idea. So maybe some showers out there around Thanksgiving. But of course, we're not going to know the specifics for another week or so. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.